Welcome back to the Sports Source, the segment brought to you by A.G. Heinz Company. And when it comes to building supplies, nobody beats these guys. They are always a step ahead, as is the case with their line of Nudura insulated concrete forms. That's what you see right there. Extremely energy efficient, reliable performance, continuous insulation, all while giving your architect greater design flexibility. This is terrific stuff, uh, and they always have great stuff at A.G. Heinz Company. That's why they are the top uh, supplier of building materials in East Tennessee to the biggest companies right down to you if you're doing a little home project. They've got it. A.G. Heinz Company. Okay, let's take a look at some stats here to spur the conversation, if you will. Departing and returning. On the left, you see the numbers. Uh, I picked the top five in each area, okay? <laughs> so the top five players in terms of passing and returning. 1,427 yards out. You've got 620 yards back. But in terms of the returning passing yards, look at number two on that list from last year. That's Paxton Brooks, your punter, <laughs> who had the two, the two passes that he threw last year. Uh, Brian Maurer had nine yards. So in terms of um, nobody is crying that Jarrett Garantano has gone, but you've got a lot, lot of room to make up here. In terms of rush yards, look at that. 1,228 yards gone. You got 183 yards coming back from those top five guys. You're down to Brian Maurer is your second leading returning rusher. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's take a look at catch yards and the receiving yards. Same kind of deal there. It, Palmer, Gray, and ironically, Brandon Johnson now is transferred to UCF to be in Heupel's offense, which he's not in uh, since Heupel came here. Uh, Valus Jones and Jalen Hyatt, you're counting on them for big things this year. Uh, on the defensive side of the ball, Tackles, there you go. But you've still got, of your top five, you've got more tackles back than you lost. But you see, that's 133 tackles gone from Toa Toa and Crouch, as David said in that last segment. And let's take a look at sacks. Wasn't like they were blowing the doors off the barn last year either, but you don't have a lot of proven performance there on the sack. In terms of pass breakups and interceptions, though, got a lot of guys back. And that may be one reason that Willie Martinez has sounded pretty positive about the group that he's got. But when you look at this, you know, so many of us think the offense is going to be better than the defense simply because of the system this year. We're all counting on the hypo system. We'll talk about that a little later, whether we've overhyped that or not. <laughs> but when you're looking at returning production, as many holes as there are on defense, there's actually more coming back on defense than there is on offense. So which side of the ball do you actually feel better about if you take system out of it? Is there one? Or do you think, eh, numbers, these numbers don't, don't sway me to defense. Where are you? Which side of the ball do you feel better about in terms of returning production and roster? The problem I have with, I, I think I feel uh, more concerned about the defense. And I'll be honest with you, it's just because the offenses have gotten so much better. So when you have a light situation, a not good situation, and you're going to go up against the SEC offenses and what they're doing nowadays, I think you're in a much worse position. So I think that group, I, and I also think you weren't strong in certain areas last year, and then you've lost the best at that position. The pass rush is a great example. It wasn't great, but now the two best are gone. So you're looking at what do we have, actually? So I, I think overall right now I'm still more concerned about the defense uh, because offense are such an advantage by the system and rules and everything now. But not only that, they're just they're all clicking, and the SEC is becoming an offensive league. Yeah, gotcha. yeah I mean, I, I think it's tough. Uh, it's close. I would say defense because, you know, on the one hand, I think safety is probably their best position uh, coming back. Defensive line, you got a ton of bodies. You got you know, bodies. a ton of guys yeah. coming back. Some of those guys have to step up because that's kind of been the case for a couple of years. They've had returners and they just have not been there. I just think offensively, you have enough guys that, that have enough potential in this system that can replace some of that. I feel a lot more confident about Jabari Small stepping up or Jalen Hyde or Bayless Jones in a, in a system that sort of suits what the things that they do than I do. I mean, literally, I don't know who's going to play middle linebacker. Like, right. I, that, like we're sitting here in spring and I still am not sure what that's going to look like. You throw Aaron Beasley in there to Solon on page, get to make, like, you're going to have to figure something out there. You just don't have guys. Um, so I would lean toward the offense because, again, I just think you're going to lose some stuff on both sides, and, and those are going to be you know an issue, but you still are pretty good on the offensive line despite the fact that, that you lost uh, you know Wani Morris and some of those guys, and Brandon Kennedy and Trey Smith. You're still pretty good there. Um, so I, I lean the offense. Vince, taking the system out of it, which side of the ball do you feel better about? I, I still say the offense as well because of those promising players and – 
I, I think this coaching staff, because of their staff continuity, will be able to get the most out of them. I wonder more about the fit. You mentioned that, David. It, do they do they have the right guys to what they want to do defensively? They want to attack and be very aggressive. They're a bit more selective prior to a Jeremy Pruitt. Do they have the team speed to do what they want to do? They haven't even really set on what kind of defense they want to run. I think they want to figure out their personnel first. Mm -hmm. So I, I think even though there's returning production and experience there, that wasn't that wasn't great to begin with. Now you're changing things up, and it might not be a good fit. So that's a bigger concern for me. We're gonna I tell you what. Uh, Ten seconds. Yeah, yeah no, I, I think this offense is quarterback friendly. The bar is on the floor for this offense. Their last offense was quarterback yeah. uh, adversarially, I guess. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure any quarterback would have done well in that offense. But all right. Uh, when we come back. I want to ask a former defender here, Will Overstreet, about how he's going to grade this defense this fall. We've got plenty more to come on the Sports Source. Come on back and join us. <laughs> 